All right, when you get a second TP to me. Well, I could have fought this thing on my own when I found it. I felt like it would be better if we used teamwork. Alright, hang on. Where? Right in here somewhere. It's he right there. Who the fuck is it? No idea, but it's underneath our base. It's a slot from Chocolate Quest. Yeah, don't hit each other. Dead. Yeah. Diamonds, e pearls, a music disc, a bunch of blocks of sand, anything. Else here, past all these cobwebs. I didn't notice, but this has creative flight. Oh yeah, and a wither skeleton skull. GG. Let's Does go find the MC value. No. And it uh, also cannot be put under the duplicator tree. I say we try it, but. Oh yeah, I can just press J. Actually, hang on. What is my button for? Wait. Oh, I don't have a button to click access. Waypoints, hang on. Options. Waypoints. Oh yeah, I still haven't programmed half up yet, guys. He'll get his trades eventually when he's ready. Oh, uh, I don't have... TP to me. No, I'm saying you can't just go straight to waypoints, it seems. Uh, I at one point had a way. Just don't remember how I did it. What is up with all of these different fucking biomes that we have? Appalachia, Skyther, Nordum, Vithia, Arcana, Isekia, Utopia, Extreme, Village, Gaming. Alright, you want to activate the... Uh, watch flowing time. That's interesting. Is there a way to make with it? Is there a way to build with their skeleton skulls? Uh, yes. Uh, we need four more of them, then we can get wither skeleton seeds, which give us that, which then we can. So we need three more heads. And then I can set up a auto farm to get us these things. Oh, and look in this chest right here. Do you have a necrotic bone or jeweled apples? I have one necrotic bone. Okay, so I need four tin ingots and one bone. Do I have any tin? You don't. I do. Where? If you can, give me some because I need to be. Right there, there, yeah. I had to smelt some of that to get some of the things I made. Uh, in an episode I did without you around. And you really should come look at this chest. Alright, hang on. Can you hand me... Do we have any bones? Can you, I have... So can you hand me a bone? Just hand a normal me, like, bone? Two. Yeah, two. That's bone meal, but... I need two bones. Oh, two bones? I'm gonna grab another one out of my table. There you go. I was learning them. Well, that's why I All sent right. you bone meal so you didn't have to break one. I learned the canister. Oh, that thing? You're going to add health to yourself? Um, later, but I don't have any miniature red hearts right now. We have to kill stuff to get those. I don't think you can do it or anything. Nope. I well, creative strong bone. box. And yes, I do have a necrotic bone in my thing. Only uh, one, though. 
Yeah, we have to get necrotic bones and stuff so, like that. And yeah, we can get a creative strong box pretty easily, though. Uh, you just walked away from the chest I wanted you to look in. Huh? What? This chest down here. Hang on. Let me learn the XP, shall I? Broken tin ore, broken lead ore, broken... Okay, what, what is that for? That's basically... Putting it into an automatic sieve. Putting it into a... Basically, you put machine. end stone into here, which then goes into the automatic hammer, which turns it into crushed end stone, then sieves it, and we can get broken draconium ore. Oh my god, hello! Hey, sweetie. Wow. The whole crew's here! Um, <laughs> I can't be I can't be on all night, by the way. Tonight. Neither can I have to be up at seven. I have to be up at around eight. Tom loses, I don't. We're finishing the roof tomorrow. Next we gotta do though. Did you hear uh, me? Yeah, I heard you. I'm assuming we're on Terraria, so we'll be able to just launch that. Yeah, well we're gonna get on there in just a minute. Slacker and I were doing stuff on the server for just now. Alright, Slacker. So uh, we've got the furnace generator here. Minecraft times two, yeah. Uh, we're, 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 we were we were we were we were on. Yeah, I figured, but I just I had to clarify. Yeah, we're gonna get on the we're gonna get on Terraria here. So we have two of the times sixty four furnace generators. So we have power for days Next plus another twenty two four, inside four this chest straight. down here. And let's get this seat. Oh, it's such a good show. But yeah, I can start getting us draconium. And at some point, I think we have an end cake or something like that. Yeah, right there, the end cake, which I'll put together, and then we can eat that just to immediately get to the end. Defeat the ender dragon and eventually set up a auto farm for the ender dragon and have infinite dragon hearts. So yeah, this is a, what I've done. I'll end up doing more later. Pretty good, man. Oh, and I'm probably going to find another area to set this whole thing up again uh, so that this isn't up here so we have just a solo area for that, probably underneath us, a floor. So that I, I can... You can... I love how with this armor you can gain, like, super fast momentum by jumping. Yeah. If you, if you diagonal jump. You go oh, even faster uh, do you know about the thing. glitch for EXP for force powers? Yeah. I'm going to end up using that at one point. Uh, to I already have. I already have everything. Slacker, I already have Force Master. I already have Max Force Speed. I already have Max Force Push. And well, Max, doesn't Max, Speed blind you? Max Force Maelstrom. And, um. Yeah. By the way, I have 82 XP levels. Alright, I'm gonna get on Terraria. Because I don't have long to play, and I may end up having to take the damn dog out again. Alright, so I'm gonna end this small section here, and we'll be back when I do more. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Killer Slacker, and today we are back actually coming off of a video I put up with Rar's Rage. Well, not put up, I recorded. Uh, it's the next day. Uh, thought I might as well get on, do some stuff, repair the hole in the floor that I think I put there. Get some extra force points using a little tiny good glitch. And boom. Oh, I already have that. And here's the glitch. All right, so my plan today, get that system over there that I set up in the last episode, set up and ready to uh, 
completely automate with uh, using that chunk loader and hopefully not overfill itself. I really should just put an XP shower though. I think this, my double finger clicking is faster. So according to Rar's Rage, Force Speed blinds him. And I want to see if it blinds me. Nope. So it's just something up with something on his computer. Because he said when he used it, it blinded him. And Hef is still not ready yet, guys. I've been too busy to talk him into selling us good stuff yet. Uh, let's get heal. And I'll do more later. So we've got a lot of Draconium Ore here. So one thing I plan to end up doing is creating um, Oh, I just forgot what I was going to say. That is brilliant for me. Uh, creating a auto crafter to auto craft all this stuff. So that then I don't have to keep doing this and then send it automatically into a furnace and smelt it. And then all we have to do is wait for Rars Rage to make the rest of it. To make the ME system that this will work with. Really? Okay. Okay, so we've got a lot of ore here. A lot more than I actually realized that we had. So I'm going to have to set up auto crafters for all of those ores that come out of this system. So I need the chest. I need the those things. That, 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 that. All the rest of this can stay here. And I want to set this up downstairs. It's out of the way. Alright. Here is where I'm going to do it. So I need an energy. I need two of these. I need a chemical chest. More trans nodes. And let's get this started. So this goes here, then gets surrounded by these. Transfer nodes here and here. I'll actually need one more than I have. To go here. And then I want the transfer pipe there and that's going to run this and on that will be that and this which will have transfer nodes here here 
and there. And then I need two more of the one things, the energy condensers. And then the um, chest. More transfer pipe. Oh, got a lot of that already. All right, so let's set this up. That there, not there. Over one. This goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Transfer node. Boom. Boom. This is gonna have to move just a slight bit. Uh, slight bit more. How do I want this? Okay, I know how I want this now. Auto hammer, not yet. Furnace generator, right here. Auto seat, there. That there, that there, that into that. And then that gets that. Then, not sure where that came from. And then that will feed into that. Okay, so now I need to get the rest of the supplies. Because I need one of the items from up here, real quick. Actually, I need more than that. No, I don't. I just need uh, one of these. And run back down. I'll put in something to act as a catalyst to get this process started. Then it goes into here and then into here, which does nothing right now. Then I need a item. Filter, but with a normal, un- broken pick here to go into here then I'm not gonna throw anything in there yet but you guys here oh, and then you're gonna go in there and here except for that and then put that in there and you'll understand why I am Easily willing to do that right this second. rod go here no 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 and you get a catalyst started boom then we get power here now I need speed upgrades process as quick as possible okay so that'll keep that going now I need to do the same thing there so I need one of you 
up here. I need another item filter. I knew I was not prepared for this quite yet, as soon as I thought I was. I keep grabbing the wrong item. A golden pick. Throw those in there for repair talismans. More repair talismans. How long have I been recording? Mm, okay. And now we jump start the system with a diamond. Yeah, I'm gonna need speed upgrades. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need end stone. You making end stone, which then feeds into here, which makes this function to go to here, which allows that to function, and then we get all the stuff here. So, you guys might be wondering why I'm not currently setting up uh, watches of flowing time. Right now, I am trying not to cause other problems, and the ones we have set up here... I took the wrong path. Here went way fast. And I'm trying not to cause more problems since we've had a zombie pigman problem. And now you guys can see why I wasn't too worried when I put my stuff into the black bag. It acts pretty much as an ender chest. Is pissed at me. Nope. Don't want them coming out. Oh yeah, I'll also be working with this machine later. But I have actually decided that I do want to uh, set up some watches of flowing time. So, I need dark matter pedestals, and then watches of flowing time. Not that many. And then I'm going to set these up here. And it should affect the everything on a whole, in my opinion. So yeah, that's going fast. That's going fast. Okay, now then, there is a fortune upgrade. How do I make that? Invar or redstone alloy, redstone alloy is silicon redstone. Let's go make that. So I need redstone. 
and some silicon. Alrighty. So, uh, in between this episode and the next, I'll probably abuse that glitch uh, there enough to max out all my force powers. How much redstone alloy? Four? And then I need vibrant alloy. Turned into vibrant alloy ingots. And I only need four of those. I need one diamond. And I don't know what I have currently have set up for that. Currently, not set up. Now then, let's get a whole stack of that. And now we put that in there. It's going to use more power, but seeing as we're not hurting for power at all, I don't see it hurting us too much. But now that this system is all set up, um, they're also a speed upgrade. Yes. This requires dark steel ingot, which is that way, and dark steel is something I've already made. So, dark steel. set up right here and then I only need one of those what else do I need redstone alloy and then more vibrant This is going to consume even more RF per tick, but it's going to speed that up. Then let's get some more, like two stacks. Can I put both in here? No, I can only put one in, which is going to speed this up dramatically. And I don't know if fortune upgrade will do much. And that's why I wasn't finding it. I spelled it horribly wrong. But let's put it in there because I think there's only one outcome. Alright, so yeah, we're getting draconium like it's nothing now. Which means the fun part comes in. Because now I need to set up uh, three transfer nodes. Each one, actually, huh? Broken silver, lead, and zirconium. Oh, we have tin too and palladium. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to set up two chests. Actually, no. I know what to do. Um, give me a bunch more chests, first off. Don't need the ultimate chest plate. I've long since passed that. Uh, more transfer pipes. And then more of the uh, item things. So, set one here, set one here, set one here. Grab one of these. Uh, one silver. Uh, one lead. chest just for draconia. Mm. 
and everything that isn't draconium can come out. And then this one will be a lead. system. Things up. Just turn right up, turn them off. Okay, that slowed it down dramatically. But the fact that we're still oh, this one isn't set up to siphon anything. Um, I need this one to catch any draconium before. So, um, Really what I should be doing is sending all the rest of this to other things because I don't need them all. I need all the resources. But yeah. Um, no. That's just no. Alright, let's head back up now. That is now in actually insanely broken if I really need Draconium. Which in here we apparently can't smelt the Draconium or inside there. Can we in here? No. Gotta use a normal furnace? That's where this thing's going. And best fuel in the game. Does it get to a point where I can smelt it? You're kidding me. Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought. A lot harder, everyone. I need another transfer. I need more of these. Uh, more of the hammer units. Just so that from here it goes into here to go into here. 
that need power. I have no idea where that is. Don't care. Can't kill me. Maybe I should have just gone with... No, 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 things. I need the hyper energy. And I want a lot of them. Okay. That's really good. I don't want to assign an EMC to them because then it would be too broken. Especially since I just used what I used. Alright, these should now have. Fine, don't have any power. Let's see if I care. Just do it the old fashioned way. Fine, be that way. Still work out in the end. Never actually had problems with them though, which is why I'm curious now. And then I need normal transfer pipe. Which can out stuff to these. And then these aren't getting any power. Why isn't it getting any power? Oh, because there's nothing in them. Because that's the wrong type of ore. No, 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 There we go. All fixed. Um. Alright. So. Now the fun part, I actually have to create an auto crafter. So the reason for all this, so that I can put one of these here. Transfer pipe, like so. And then, right now I'm just, everything that can get out of my inventory, get out. Another one of these set up for power. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. So. We're going to need lots of power sources. I'm going to... Okay. What all is needed for me to have an auto crafter? Just stone gears, right? And then, uh, no, 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 no. crafting table.
I won't need any. I need a trans or nope. Wait, I need to EMC that real quick. Sorry to put your thing at a halt thing, but I am gonna need a lot of you. And the fact that you don't require power just makes things even better. Then I need the auto hammer. Here. To which then we'll receive these. Which will then transfer into here. I need some power. Receive power. And that will transfer into another auto hammer. And this comes that. And then that becomes another thing which will need an auto crafter. Into another hammer. No. Gonna make powder dust. So I'm going to get some facades which um, require me to have cable anchors, which is going to be easy to get. I'll probably do that off screen. that on makes draconium dust. With draconium dust I then need to hammer it again so I will need another. And then I'm going to set up a system to speed this up. Probably put one watch flowing time there and like three in here. And that will get transferred into a red matter furnace, which now, let me see, does it take?
might not work. Do blaze rods. Okay, so it does smelt them. Okay, it's just how it was oriented in. Then I need to So that it refills constantly with blaze rods and then draconium ingots. Okay. Now then, I need the dark matter pedestal. Give me a stack of them. And then time. There we go. Now it's going by. So I don't know how well this is going to work overall. Um, I need uh, fortune upgrades. One, two, three. No, no, no. Did not want to copy. Then some speed for here and here, here and here, here and here. Just to try to get the maximum amount of stuff as fast as possible. And then I need, again, Rose Rage, I need your ME chests, your ME system. And then I need more transfer nodes. Because basically what's going to happen. Do, 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 do. Not there then. Alright, so now these things are just going to fill up like crazy madmen. And I'm going to get to watch as they go crazy. Then I do actually need one dark matter pedestal and one watch flowing time for over here just to keep that going fast. I don't need going wicked fast, I just need the draconium coming in. Draconium ore. I need this to have a constant supply of draconium. How hard is it to make a trash can? Time to make a trash can. Now I need stone, both cobble and normal. And then a chest.
basically I messed up. Anything that is not draconium is going to go to the trash. Still, I'm missing a transfer node. Then I need speed upgrades just to make this go faster so it gets them. Oh, great, I'm still missing out on a transfer node. First things first, turn off magma mode. And crushed and stone don't have no EMC value. Well, since it's being created infinitely. Okay, now then I need dark matter pedestals times two. And then I can actually now support two more watches of flowing time. Should mean that once again, there we go. Get some more speed upgrades in here. Just make that faster. So anything that comes out of here that is draconium is going straight over here now. Which means that I honestly hope that chunk loader works down here. It covers it. Learn it. Grab another one out just because. Oh, yeah, it covers it. Definitely covers it. So I don't need one of my own. Now, Rose Rage is probably going to be like. Why is this thing saying that I can't use it? I placed it. It's like, yeah, no, I did. Now, according to it. So it's now keeping nine chunks going, which means that draconium is going to just start flowing through here. So everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. To be honest, we've done quite a lot in a very short amount of time. And the fact that we now have a trash can to throw away all the ores we don't need, unless we somehow do end up needing uh, those other ores. And draconium is being made. Having to go by fast isn't too bad. We're still going hard and strong into this, so... Still doing good, everyone. So I shall see you in the next episode. Tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.